Hello everyone, this is Shobhna, finally a postgraduate trainee in the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Endodontics of Sri Balaji Dental College and Hospital. The very first thing which comes in our mind when we hear the word endodontics are files, hand pieces, endomota, and apex replica. But with advancements in technology, the scenario has changed a lot. Currently, newer treatment options are available because of introduction of new instruments and equipment among which are CBCT, microscopes, intraoral scanners, etc. CBCT helps to make correct diagnosis and choose proper treatment plan for a patient, while surgical operating microscopes have uh, allowed us to be more precise and accurate during the treatment procedure, and intraoral scanners help to take optical impressions. Another newer technique available in guided endodontics which could probably help clinicians in complex, challenging clinical situations. Before I explain about guided endodontics, let's, let's have a look on the various clinical challenges that we as endodontists face in our practice. It includes pulp canal calcification, retreatment cases, and molar microsurgeries in lower molar that are very difficult to access. And some of these challenges can be overcome by guided endodontics. Initially, guided endodontics was proposed for localizing and negotiating obliterated root canal, but now it has various other applications. It was uh, defined by Gaspian Crestel as a new approach for localizing and negotiating obliterated root canal. Let's uh, look at the consequences of attempting to treat or negotiate obliterated root canals using conventional treatment using hand pieces and files, uh, which are instrument fracture, perforation, uncontrolled or excessive dentine removal leading on to fracture of root, and the procedure is very time consuming and laborious. But with guided endodontics, we can reduce this damage. This technique uses templates, which is similar to the surgical guides used for implant placement. For guided endodontics, we require CBCT image of the patient. Optical impression is obtained using intraoral scanner. We also require virtual imaging software to plan the access pathway and 3D printers for template fabrication. Now let's have a look on the steps involved in guided endodontics. From 3D CBCT scan and intraoral scan, we get the 3D rendering image and digital image respectively. These two images are merged with the help of a software and with the help of this image, a uh, path of access opening is, is planned on the system virtually. Later, this information is sent to 3D printers for template fabrication. Commonly used 3D printers are stereolithography and fused deposition model. The arrow shows the template which is obtained from the 3D printers. Now let's have a look on one of the case in which a male of 36 years with a history of trauma 10 years back presented with discolored teeth in relation to two one. The IOPA team clearly reveals that the cervical third and middle third is erosed and vacancy of canal is only present in the apical third. CBCT images with the tooth and axial views also reveals weight in, in the apical third. Then path of axis opening is virtually planned and single tooth template was fabricated. The template is placed on the tooth with the uh, help of pencil, a point is marked on the tooth surface. Template is removed from the tooth surface and initial entry into the enamel and dentine was done using high speed air rotor with quarter sized round burr. Once penetration into the dentine was obtained, we place the template back and start using the LN burr to its full length, followed by the use of GG burrs. The negotiation of the canals was done in 10 minutes. Cleaning and shaping was done with 2% tape profiles and obturation was done with whole loop to uh, compaction technique. Teveris in his case report concluded that guided endodontics in cases of pulp canal calcification and anterity is more reliable and bonus root canal deposition. With regards to the accuracy of guided endodontics, this article suggests the technique to be very accurate, fast, an operator independent technique that means a less uh, experienced operator will also be able to perform uh, access in these challenging cases. 
The same author analyzed the, uh, the two structural laws after guided endodontics and conventional abscess cavity preparation, and they found that only 10% structural loss was seen in guided endodontics, while conventional abscess cavity preparation showed around 50% loss of tooth structure. And the study also evaluated the duration of the treatment and revealed that conventional treatment lasts for 21.8 minutes while it was just 11.3 minutes for guided endodontics. There are a few articles which uh, suggest use of guided endodontics for posterior teeth. Let's have a look on other applications of guided endodontics. Guided endodontics can also be used to move the fiber reinforced post from the root canal. Or we can use it to trace in cases which already has perforations. Guided endodontics will probably help to trace the original part and sealing the perforation. There are articles suggesting use of guided endodontics to treat anomalous tooth structure like dense and vaginosis. Other major application where it is being currently used is uh, endodontic surgery. Templates are prepared. Initially, the flap is raised followed by placing the template in the surgical site. This helps in exactly locating the apex and reduces the size of osteotomy. Nowadays, guided endodontic surgery is also called as uh, targeted endodontic microsurgery or TENS. This method helps to precisely locate the site of osteotomy and root end resection, which air site time is reduced and hence faster healing. TENS approach can also be used to perform the rear surgery in palatal teeth of maxillary molar. It is almost impossible to do the rear surgery in palatal teeth, but now they suggest that on using TENS approach, about 50% patients can be safe, uh, can be safely, uh, can safely do root resection without involving greater palatine art. As of now, we have discussed only the advantages of guided endodontics. Now let's have a look on the limitations of things. For guided endodontics, we require CBCT images of the teeth, so patients will be exposed to the radiations. Next is heat generation by birth because we are using a template, so there is no chance of cooling the tongue. There are high chances of trace lines or cracks to appear on the label size, the side. And lastly, it can't be used in areas with less interfluces. So it is very hard to treat cases of mandibular molars. Apart from this, we might encounter technical difficulties like cost, use of software, and accuracy of 3D printers is questionable, as it has been tested, has, as uh, it has not been tested yet. A systematic review by Monero et al. concludes that guided endodontics provides highly predictable outcome, minimal hydrogenic damage is a minimally invasive procedure with reduced chair side time. However, most studies with larger number of patients are necessary to obtain uh, significant conclusions. So with uh, guided endodontics, clinical procedure will be faster, may not require specialized equipment to perform challenging procedures in endodontics. Plus, it also provides accurate treatment outcomes. There are three mantras in life, which are choice, chance, and change. Using this mantra, I would like to conclude by saying that to bring change in the field of endodontics for accurate treatment of challenging cases, we should take chance to make a choice in upgrading ourselves to newer technologies like guided endodontics. Thank you.